DVR Tech here with a review of the KK Moon 1800 watt mining power supply. Here's a quick look at the specs and we're going to head over to the bench to unbox it. A popular choice today is to use the HP server line of power supplies and connect that to a breakout board. And that's actually probably a good idea. But it, it kind of does leave you with this breakout board that just kind of sticks out from the back of an HP power supply. And it's not really a unified solution. So I ran across this on Amazon. It's around 130 bucks and 1800 watts of power output. One important thing to note on this is it requires 220. So if you do not have uh, 220 running in your home, it's going to be a problem. It's not going to hook up. You're going to need some very special power running to power this. So let's go ahead and open it up. So you can see throughout the, the box and the actual unit, they're stressing that this is a mining power supply. In fact, the label on it actually states specifically, I'm not sure if you can see that there, but it actually states special mining power supply. So there you go. It's specifically designed for that purpose. And we can see from the back of it, it is 1800 watts. Down here it says designs, especially for Bitcoin. And uh, they actually misspelled Bitcoin or Litecoin. So there you have it. Typical Chinese translations. But it's a good looking unit. I really don't see any issues with it. So we're gonna take a look at the connections on this. We have our standard ATX power. We have our CPU power right here. We have a variety of, let's see, SATA and Molex connectors. So we've got more than enough there to power risers. We have a total of one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve PCIe um, power connectors. Of course, some cards use two of them. So, looking at this here, these are six plus two connectors, and uh, they actually seem to slide on a little nicer than even the EVGA and uh, Corsair units that. I'm used to. So there you have it. We're going to go ahead and take and plug this thing in and see how it works. So this unit not being a modular power supply, it's a challenge for sure. There's a large wad of cabling to deal with and the cable length isn't really that long. So that presents challenges with the location of the power supply itself. I may have to move it as I add cards in the future. But for now, we're up and running again and ready for a bunch more cards to be added.